Hey guys, this is Michelle, your fearless leader, coming to you from Las Vegas, my new home. And you'll see in the background, I'm getting my office done. Still got things to do, but wanted to take a second and, and shoot a quick video for everyone and let you know two things. First of all, way to go for October. We had such an amazing month. So you always look at last year, right? And that's how you can kind of judge yourself. So October 2012, we did 30% more than October 2011. So kudos to every single one of you. That's for anyone that ordered, anyone that had one spa, anyone that replaced their skincare, all the way to those rock star girls that are doing you that $1,500, $2,000 a month in retail sales, and they're using this as a way to make money for their family. So thanks a lot to everyone for having such an amazing month. So thank you. Let's do the same thing in November. And I'll tell you, there's so many great things going on in November. Make sure you check out Your Achiever. Make sure you check out our Facebook pages because there's just a lot, a lot of great things going on in November, as there should be, because this is the time of year where everyone is out there shopping. It's unlike any other time of year. Now, those of you that personally know me, you know that before Beauty Control, I spent 17 years in retail, right? You know that I know retail inside and out. And in November and December, like something like 75% of all retail sales are going to happen. So this is what makes us all so comfortable with what we do because you have the right to ask your friends, your family, strangers a, a handful of questions to see how you can help them during this crazy busy holiday time. So we have our November activity challenge and you're seeing it and you're like, well, how do I get my hands on one? Hopefully at your monthly meeting, your directors handed it out to you. If not, then you can always go to spafairies.com. New password as of today is holiday cash. One word, no caps at all. So spafairies.com, our new password is holiday cash. You can go there and then go under forms, go under current month and you're going to see this. And we're going to start doing something different with our monthly activity challenge that the directors and I are so excited about. And we're going to just each month have kind of different gifts and contests. And here's what it says right here. The first 36 people on the Jones national team to complete will receive a gift from me. Yay! So it doesn't matter where you live, what city if you belong to one of our 20 directors the first 36 people that complete this and get it to me you're going to get a gift and then the cool thing if your director participates when you take this to your december monthly meeting and you're like i finished it you're going to get a gift why do we do this? Because the activity challenge is the way to grow your business. Okay, so November's activity challenge. You're going to find people and you're going to ask them questions. And we have five questions, okay? Question number one is, would they like to earn extra money to pay for their holidays with cash? You have the right to ask anyone this. Millions of people right now are actually looking for extra or part-time jobs. Again, why do I know that? Because that's what I used to do in retail. We would triple the size of our stores. So however many employees we had in October, November, December, and January, we would have three times more. So tons of people are out there looking for jobs. So ask people. People you know and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in their name you're gonna fill in their phone number you're gonna fill in the five questions okay so question number one was do you want any help paying for your holidays with cash they say yes it's a no-brainer right they can do start doing spas instantly they can share the holiday gift giving guide instantly right it, there's so many ways that people can make extra cash during the holidays the second question are they done holiday shopping I challenge you to find one person right now even one person that's done holiday shopping because they're all gonna say no so if they're not done holiday shopping you can invite them over to your holiday boutique if you're having one. You could give them a catalog or the holiday gift guide. The whole point of this activity challenge is to get us to talk to people. You could offer to have for them to have a spa. You could have them come over and do a one-on-one. -on -one. I actually just had some people over at my house yesterday. My office isn't even set up yet. And I said, hey, are you done holiday shopping? They're like, what are you even talking about? I've not started. I said, let me show you some things. And I sold one of the baby sets. This is how easy it is, I'm telling you. Now the next question is, would they like to earn free products by doing a spa? Right? It's our business for us to reward our hostesses as we want. So if they say, yeah, I'd love to get some free products for doing a spa, you can give them a set dollar amount, whatever's more comfortable for you, and let them earn that way, right? Most of us give the neck wrap, the head tingler, the back massager for starting on time, having five or more people, right, and keeping that original date. 
That's the gift we give. But then you can say have 300 in sales, 400 in sales, 500 in sales, and they could earn free products which they could use for themselves or they could use for holiday gifts. The next one, let's say they're like, no, I'm too busy, right? We hear that, or people say things like, my house isn't big enough. They, they, they say things because they don't know, or they say, I don't have enough friends. You hear all of these things. Well, number four, you could say, well, would you like to earn free products by sharing our holiday gift guide? Now, I couldn't find my holiday gift guide in my stack because I'm unpacking my office and I had to get this video out to you guys. It's that little gift guide, right? You get 10 of them for $3. It's like 30 cents each. We'll post um, the item number for it. Seriously, imagine someone you know, she goes to work, she takes that holiday gift guide, you give it to her for a couple of days, right? She goes and collects orders. Let's just say Something so little. She sold $150 worth of stuff. Would you not give her a free $25 product for selling $150 worth of stuff and you did nothing? Let's say she sells $200, $300, $400. We do it all the time, right? Kids, you know, the moms of kids bring the Girl Scout, you know, which cookies do you want or the whatever, all these things I see, the cookie dough and all these things I see, or the Tupperware catalog or the jewelry catalog, what's the difference? So question number four is would like they like to earn free products by sharing the holiday gift guide. Now, the last question, number five, let's say they're like, no, 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 it's totally okay. You're just asking questions to find out. Ask this question, who do you know? Seriously, say, who do you know that might be interested in this? Guys, this is question number five. This is one of the most powerful ones, and I'm going to prove to you why. We have rock star director Alice on our team who literally just walked away, right? She'd replaced her income. She walked away from her traditional job. Kudos to you, Alice. I'm so very proud of you, right? The only reason Alice is on our team, because I had asked someone, who do you know? Alice's recruiter, Sarah, I didn't know her. I was speaking to someone and I asked them if they wanted to have a spa and they said, you know, I'm not really interested in that. So I just, I reached in there and I'm like, just ask, who cares if you're nervous? Ask. So I said, who do you know that likes to do, you know, these kind of things? Who do you know that might like to make extra cash? Or who do you know that likes to do home parties, right? Just ask that question, who do you know? And this woman said, my friend Sarah. I called Sarah, never met her before, asked her if she wanted to do the home spa recruited Sarah, who recruited Alice. I mean, that's the power of who do you know. These are the five questions that you want to ask everyone. There are 43 lines. Why 43 lines? Because we think you should be asking one or two people a day. One or two people a day. How long did that take? It took me, I don't even know, five minutes to explain it. So what? It's going to take you less than that to ask the questions. And when you do that enough, you're going to find people that fall into each of those categories. So play the activity challenge. Take it to your monthly meeting, grow your business, help other people. That's really one of the most important things to me is you're helping other people. When you say, hey, are you done holiday shopping? And they say no, you can say, hey, well, I'm doing a, a holiday boutique. You want to come over? You're helping that person. You're saving them from going to the mall or, you know, just one more trip. Now, the average American family is spending about $700. We know this, right? So you're not asking for anything that's not happening out there already. And I think the statistic was people spend about 23 hours shop shopping and gift wrapping. Let's make that easier for people. Let's, th let's help them out. And then think about your own personal needs. Sit down really in the next couple of days with a note piece of paper and write down mom, grandma, friend, aunt, cousin, and think what beauty control items can you, you know, shop and get for them too because guys, we do have the best incredible treatments that everyone loves and you're getting the best possible price by being a beauty control member. Can't wait to get your completed activity challenges back from you. Have an amazing November.